if you are a gala holder you need to watch this video and you need to be patient with your eardrop in this video we're going to be having a look at gala games some technical analysis some of the contracts and the old contracts to see where they could potentially go and what is happening exactly now a lot of you had questions about coinbase and coinbase wallet now i said it multiple times that a coinbase wallet is a custodial wallet okay if you have a private key to it it is just your wallet just because it's by coinbase doesn't mean they won't be supporting the airdrop on that wallet the exchange on the other hand will not be supporting the airdrop okay now i know a lot of you guys had your coinbase your gala and your coinbase and if you did that's a little bit unfortunate i'm sorry to hear that maybe coinbase can do something with gala maybe they can talk to each other i don't know what the situation will be there but the good thing is that the airdrop is still active at the moment okay so if you have it on your coinbase wallet okay that means it's anything it's separate from the exchange then it is fine you will be receiving the airdrop now if we have a look at the old contract right here sorry this is a new contract i believe you could see that there's 240,000 holders sorry that's the old contract and you could see right here on the new contract there's still 158,000 holders and it's obviously still increasing by day so the airdrop still didn't happen for everyone okay gala said that they would start with the exchanges first and then they would do to essentially dexes or metamask addresses or anything that's a cold storage like ledger metamask trust wallet coinbase wallet not exchange wallet exodus and whatnot so anything that is on chain essentially on chain is anything that's pretty much in the blockchain and that's not on a centralized exchange like binance coolcoin hotbit and all these things when you're on a centralized exchange it pretty much belongs to the exchange and it is not on uh it's it's on the it is on the blockchain obviously but um it's not on chain essentially so that's pretty much what's happening right now with gala games the airdrop will happen please don't withdraw your galas and you, you know anywhere don't withdraw don't deposit don't do anything please 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 i beg of you you will be losing your gala i mean if you go on all the exchanges right now they actually halted deposits and withdrawals and i know a lot of people are impatient maybe some people think they got the airdrop but didn't and they're trying to move their galas from one one place to another please do not do that guys i beg of you you will lose your gala wait a couple days they're still doing it um they said that this should this should take a few hours to a day or so so please wait yesterday i said that the snapshot was taken and just because a snapshot was taken that does not mean that the distribution will happen the snapshot is just to verify that your galas are on chain on and it belongs to that address essentially and that's about it but please do not do anything yet so let's have a look at gala real quick as you guys can see right here the market cap is sitting at 242 million dollars the volume is quite high sitting at 202 million dollars as well so we got 83 percent of the market cap being traded coin markup i really don't like this new version of coin markup it's pretty pretty ugly it's a little bit messy i really am not a fan of it please change it back the way it used to be circling supply hasn't changed i'm pretty sure they will something with tokenomics will happen as well and that's it fully diluted of course that would mean assuming that the total supply would be 35 uh, billion token the market cap would essentially be 1.2 uh, billion dollars essentially so that's pretty much what's happening on gala currently traded at 3.4 cents up 15 percent in the past 24 hours has been making move has been looking juicy and that's about it so having a look at a technical analysis real quick first of all the good thing is that yes the price is pumping but the really good thing that we are seeing right here is that the volume is increasing drastically okay so we have a massive massive pump in volume right here and things are obviously looking pretty pretty good now we do have some sort of bearish divergence right here on on um on the volume and on the chart but that's not too big of a concern in my opinion v2 is obviously here to stay v2 is only going to make the ecosystem better stronger more secure and more efficient essentially so that's what's happening right now for gala games on the four hour time frame let's go on the daily real quick and draw some uh support and resistance before that i do want to talk about the ema ribbon so ever since we broke right here these exponential moving average we pretty much haven't uh, been above it right i mean it's been quite a few weeks i would say even a month and now we're retesting these exponential moving average and the big thing is is will gala essentially break above these ema ribbons and another thing guys is this massive bull flag that gala games is currently in so gala right here is in a massive bull flag as you guys can see we had this crazy crazy pump and obviously this was this massive massive dump below these ema ribbons right here and of course once we broke above the ema ribbons it was just a parabolic run i believe that was 300 percent right here uh 269 right here if i bring it to the bottom yeah that was 
319%. And of course, Gala is currently in a some sort of descending wedge bull flag a lot of people are calling this different patterns but this is obviously a very very bullish pattern right here as you guys can see and things are looking pretty pretty good for a gala game this could also be a falling wedge now assuming that this is a falling wedge what can our target be well if i actually take this right here to the top and i put a resistance our target should be six cents which would be a little bit under 100% gain from here. Okay, it would be 80% gain from here, of course. And of course, if you bought it right here at 2.7, that's 127% pump from here. So things are looking good overall for Gala Games. Of course, if Bitcoin does pump, that's only gonna add more fuel to the fire and essentially Gala will essentially pump. So that's looking pretty, pretty juicy right here. And as we know, guys, every time we have a pump, we're usually gonna have some sort of correction before continuing to the upside. And this is exactly what is happening right here. If I pull the RSI on the weekly time frame real quick, we can see that the RSI is looking very, very healthy. Things are looking good on the RSI. As you guys can see right here, we had a nice little downtrend and now we have some room to explode even more. Okay, so that's what we want to see right here. If we have a look on the daily time frame and we open the RSI, we could actually see that we were actually over bought right here and we know when we're overbought investors look to sell and when we're oversold investors look to buy so right here we were oversold we investors were you know essentially pumped that to the moon and of course right here we were overbought and investors started selling the same thing right here we were oversold on the daily we started pumping pumping came back down over oversold right here once again and that's actually when i dropped some money on gala and of course exploded once again so that's what's happening right now for gala games nothing too crazy overall things are looking pretty pretty good gala v2 is looking very very bullish and if you like this video don't forget to smash that subscribe button leave a like and i will see you guys in my next video tomorrow